and I talked about this being the weirdest day that I think I maybe have ever had online. I was not kidding at all. Gator, how's it going, sir? What's up, bud? <laughs> so I talked about all this earlier, uh, and I'm not going to spend the whole show on it, although uh, I think Bibble's going to be here at some point, some others. When the people come in, I might, you know, we might go back to it or whatever, talk about it, when or if uh, they come in. I talked about it for like three or four hours uh, today on Tequila Sunrise. And so this morning I woke up and somebody had hit me with this and on Twitter and I went and saw the thread and saw that Josh had posted a picture. Now I thought this was me in the third grade, but actually I think this is me maybe a year or two later, fourth or fifth grade, because he actually shows a third grade photo and the person talking this ridiculous bullshit is not in that photo so he didn't come to our school maybe until fourth or fifth grade, I guess. I don't know. It was a little bit later on. So I think this is maybe fourth or fifth grade, Ralph. I'm not exactly I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I don't even have these pictures myself. That's another thing. So when I saw this picture, I was like, okay, well, that's not even posted on my shit or my mom, you know, RIP, her shit or anybody in my family doesn't have. It's like, okay, well, somebody, you know, it has to, you know, somebody got this from West Memphis. So, uh. Now, he claims – I had seen them talking the other day. Somebody goes, oh, we should try to, like, reach out to Ralph's classmates or, like, get people from his hometown and shit. And so he claims that this person reached out to them. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Who cares, uh, to be honest with you? So, anyway, we'll get into that, though. This wasn't revealed until later. So I see this picture, and I put it on Twitter, and I say, oh, this is an awesome picture. I don't know why you – you know, what is this? Do you think you own me or some shit? Like, this is a great picture. I love this fucking picture. And, you know, everybody else agreed pretty much. And so, you know, just kind of laughed about it. Started up the stream. Now, I did mention it was obvious. I thought he paid him. I don't know. Maybe he did. Um, but it's like, okay. So, at first, I'm just assuming, well, this guy's paid somebody or, um, you know, I don't know. He's gotten the photo somehow, right? It's like it's weird. It's, it's elementary school yearbook photos, so, so you can't just go to the library and like pick that up or something. Like it's kind of, I don't know. In, in most places, I would assume you can't do that. So, uh, if you walk uh, around an elementary school, well, <laughs> you know, Josh, people start get a little fucking know, weirded out by that. You know, I don't this know. Grown ass man. It does sound like a habit of his, but the yearbook yeah. pictures. So, cool. so I see this and. I'm like, okay, uh, whatever. I tweeted out, laugh about, start the show. And then he goes, and I'm like, I don't know what he said. Oh, I never hated Ralph until this morning. I was like, what is this fucker talking about? Like, seriously. And so then he goes, what happened to Sadie's puppies, Ralph? And I said, okay, well, he has, that's the name of my childhood dog. He's not smart enough to have watched this, sh you know, went back and actually researched. And so I've talked about Sadie before on these shows, but you know, you'd have to do a really deep dive research or watch a lot of these shows probably to hear about it. So I was like, okay, so somebody's trying to start shit. So I said, uh, okay, well I talked about what happened to Sadie's dogs and he tried to say that I gassed my dog's dogs, her puppies, by the way, which first off, I don't know where somebody would get access to Zyklon or something like that at, at the age of, whatever I was, third grade, fourth grade. I don't know how that would occur. So I went into the detail of what actually happened with these puppies. So my dog was pregnant. Sadie was pregnant. She had puppies. And all of them died except two when she had them because they were premature. So, like, she had four or five other puppies, and they just died. Like, they were DOA, basically. And she didn't know how to open the... Um, the sack, basically, I don't know what they're, it's actually called, but the, the little sack that they come born in, they don't just come born out like a person, you know. They're, like, inside this little sack, and the dog's supposed to tear it open. Anyway, she didn't know how to do that. So my dad was actually doing that manually, and he saved a couple of the dogs and built this little incubator thing in a shoebox and put a heating pad underneath it. Now, come to find out, I didn't even know this till today. I went and started looking at articles, and it turns out that's exactly, literally, what you're supposed to do word for word for the for an animal in this situation. My dad was actually going down the book, built a home, you know, homemade incubator, uh, and put them in the oven, but not with the oven on. 
Uh, it's a spot. See right here. Let me read this. Uh, the reason you need to keep the puppy warmer is the puppy is supposed to be inside the dam for another week. The dam's temperature is 99 to 100 degrees. However, with the warmer temperature, you risk the chance of dehydration. So you're trying to keep them in place. Let's see. There's a there's one line here where it talks about like out of the draft, basically, and where you can kind of keep. You don't want obviously you wouldn't turn the oven on, or you wouldn't crank it up. You know, hot, hot, hot. Anything, even the heating pad. You kind of just want where like it's not an open breeze. It's kind of enclosed but not closed up. You know what I mean? Like it's got a little bit of shelter, but like a kind of a cave effect. You know what I mean? Like an ensconced where the front's open. So. Anyway, they lived for a little, several days, if not a week or so, and then they passed away because they're premature and, you know, that happens. Now, he said on his forum, which is complete law, by the way, he said they asphyxiated, which is not true. They didn't asphyxiate. They just died because they weren't developed. They're fucking, they weren't even... They were born early, you know, dogs that are born early. This thing even has a chart where it talks about, you know, at a certain age, they're just not going to live. And they were like, I don't know, maybe a week or so premature. And they were kind of in that area where it's just, you know, sometimes they end up pulling through and sometimes they don't. Uh, and each day that passes by that they're premature, it like gets less likely, less likely. So that's what happened with Sadie's dogs, quote unquote. And I told this story. And first off, this is not a story I ever really thought I would be telling on a fucking show, really, because it's like, what the fuck? So I told this story. I went and found this article. It's like, okay, yeah, actually, my dad, that was fucking honorable as fuck, what my dad did. Holy shit, he went, you know, that was a great thing. He tried his best to say the dogs actually went by the book. If you go read this dog breed, this is like dog breed uh, website, uh, breeder website, and they're talking about uh, that somebody had given them a puppy in that condition because they knew, you know, how to take care of it or whatever and have a better chance to survive. And they literally went down the line and did exactly what my dad had done. So, you know, they're trying to turn that into, you know, my dad killed the dogs or some shit or I killed the dogs or whatever. So I told that story, blew that out of the water. Then they go to, uh, Nulls keeps talking about a kitchen chair. And I'm like, what is he talking about? I'm literally going through it. I can't even think anything through my childhood that would be all that controversial. I was like, well, I got in trouble for pissing outside uh, at school once. So that's kind of embarrassing. Uh, you know, I sit, I sit there and I was like, well, what were some really embarrassing things that happened to me at school? I was like, well, that wasn't my finest hour when I got suspended for pissing outside. Um, when I when I bit a guy during a fight and got suspended for that, that wasn't my finest hour. And so I mentioned that, too. And I was like, I literally couldn't think of anything else. And he keeps going, he keeps going, kitchen chair, Ralph, kitchen chair, Ralph. What about the kitchen chair? And I was like, and I was already thinking about who is even talking to this faggot, right? Like, who would even be, t you know, I was cool with my class. The whole class, pretty much. And I'm sitting there thinking, who would even be talking to this faggot? Then I was like, Roth Aslan. I was like, there's no way. It's got to be him. I was like, because that was the one that we always had beef with and always talked shit about. And he was always a weird fucking Yankee from Chicago and was just a weird faggot the whole time he was there. I mean, literally. And he came, <laughs> I swear. I mean, I'm just being real, man. I'm, I'm being real, dude. I'm being real. He was a weird faggot from Chicago. And he came in in like the fourth grade. I thought it was the third grade earlier, but they showed, they doxed a picture of my third grade class. And he's not in the picture. So I was like, uh, well, that's not, he's not in there. So like, all right, well, he wasn't there in the third grade then, or he came later that year or in the fourth grade. Right. So I'm, I don't even remember anyway. So he was the only one I had beef with. So I started thinking, Roth Aslan. All right. So he popped into my mind and then I was like, oh, okay. Well, it's gotta be, it's gotta be him. You know, I remembered something that happened to this kid and it was during school and i was sitting there in class and they came in and i knew this kid he lived hold on let me show you this so i knew him he lived very close to me also and when he moved there you know i was trying to be cool he played a bunch of video games he had like the n64 when it first came out he had flight simulator and stuff but he was a huge faggot bibble that was the problem right like so he had all these cool games he had all this cool shit but he was a mega faggot and so I would go over there and try to be cool with him and try to hang out with him and stuff, but he was always a bitch. And so, like, 
we ended up being enemies, basically. Uh, and earlier today, I was talking about how he used to always carry around his dog and stuff. And people, I don't think people really understood what I meant by like. There's nothing wrong with carrying around your dog or keeping it close or whatever. But I mean, he would like carry it around all the time and like make it stay with him when it didn't want to and stuff. And like over, you know what I mean, Bibble? Do you, do you you've seen people like that who are like yeah. really super attached to the dog and they're like. Forcing it to stay next to him when it doesn't want to or wants to go somewhere else. Or something. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? He just wants to go do dog yeah. stuff. And like, come on, sit next to me like right. a little human. Yeah, exactly. You're my little human. Like, come on. It man. wants to be a dog. And it wasn't even that he was mistreating it, quote unquote, really. But it was like, man, just let you let the dog go. Like, what the fuck? The dog wants to go run around. Like, leave it alone. And so, anyway, that was the type of behavior. That's kind of, That's what I was getting at. Not that, you know, it's weird to carry your dog around. It's not. But when you're carrying around all the fucking time, yeah, it is weird. Anyway, so we'd already had our beef by this point. They come in. They tell him that his dog has fucking hung itself, choked itself, whatever you want to call it, dead. And he comes back in, just, you know, tears coming down his eyes. I mean, you know. Tough break for sure, I have to say. And so it was always burning my brain because I remembered how upset it made him. And I also remembered making fun of him afterwards because I did troll him about it a little bit. I did a little RIP trolling about the dog, and I may have done a Spike Lee gesture. I don't know if you're familiar with So wait, with Lily the... Fang wasn't the first <laughs> yeah, time? Yeah. Holy shit. I may have done a little RIP trolling when Roth pissed me off down the line. I don't think it wasn't that day. It was some other time and he pissed me off and I was like, Oh, you know, your your dog hung itself to get away from you, five years later. <laughs> you know. Like <laughs> I mean it's fucked up to say, right? You, I, weren't, you weren't the kindest person in no, the world. No, I wasn't. No. And I said this earlier. Like I could have that's another thing. I could have left that part out. Like, that's something I didn't have to say. No, I was a dick about it. But he was a little fucking bitch, too. He was talking shit. You know, I don't know. It's kid, it's kid stuff, and it's just life stuff. I mean, people throwing shit and forth, uh, back and forth to each other. Anyway, no claims this guy talked to him and said that because I had made that, that gesture or something, that somehow I knew something about it. And intimated that I killed his dog. That's what Noel claims anyway. I don't know if the guy actually said this or not. Uh, because he deleted fucking everything after I called him out earlier. And so I don't know if he's willing to stand by such a slanderous accusation. Because I'll see him in court if he is. Because that absolutely did not happen. And there's some things I'm just not going to fucking accept motherfuckers bullshitting about. And, you know, Noel's a faggot. So I ain't going to fucking get into court with him. There's no <laughs> point. Uh, you know, there's no point, right? Like, he would love me to sue him anyway. Like, there's no point. But I will sue that cocksucker. And there's a good goddamn reason he deleted fucking everything when I called him out. Because I ain't fucking around, dude. Fuck you, bitch. Go ahead and put your name to that then, motherfucker. And I will see you in court, bitch. I'm not playing, dude. I don't think that shit's funny. I'm not laughing, Roth. We can take it back to the third grade when I used to slap your bitch ass around, motherfucker. Except this time it'll be in the court of law. And I'm not fucking around, dude. I'm not fucking around at all. Anyway. So, and I went through this timeline <laughs> earlier, Bibble, where I would have had to. So, they came and told him his dog died at school. Yeah. Right? So, <laughs> I would have had to have killed the dog. I was at school when it happened, when they came and told him, right? I was sitting there in class. So, I would have had to have killed the dog before school. Well, there's a few different things. I laid this out earlier. I could have killed the dog before school. After they left their house and then came to school. <laughs> or I could have... Or, 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 or wait. If wait, I wait, did wait, it wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> No, but wait. But think about this, though, man. Look, I would have had to sneak in their house, kill the dog, like, s silently. Like, I don't even understand how this would be a possibility to occur. I mean, we did live close to each other, but it's still a block and a half. I'm in the fourth grade, maybe something like that. Pull at this some point, splinter cell shit. It would have been a heavy fucking lift. So I said impossible. I mean, technically, I guess not impossible, but it would have been a really heavy lift for a kid to fucking do. And if he would have had any suspicion whatsoever that I would have killed his fucking dog, this fucking dude hated me. He would have fucking wrote to every fucking official in the goddamn United States. Are you kidding me? And I. I truly believe that. What the fuck? This never, I never heard this thrown out ever in my life until earlier. 
And, of course, I knew who it was right away. And so right after I got off the stream, I fucking looked his ass up on LinkedIn and put his shit out on Telegram. And I said, bitch, I know where you're working. I know what you're doing. And I know the bullshit you're telling. And, you know, if you want to fucking put out fake ass shit like that, I just want to let you know I know what's going on, et cetera. And that's not a threat. Holy shit. I don't, yeah. I don't actually that's believe that this guy just, like, came out of nowhere and just happened to... You know, I don't send a message, and I, I think they hunted him down. I think they started going through your classmates somehow, some way. Well, so earlier, so when this happened, I called another classmate of mine. You can see this picture. Uh, his name's Blake. I wonder if you can guess which one it, it is. It's my best friend. Uh, but <laughs> I called him earlier, and I was like, dude, fucking this motherfucker Roth is trying to say I knocked off his dog back in the – Fucking in elementary school. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? We were both sitting there in class when they came and told us his dog was dead. What do you fuck? Don't you remember? They said, yeah, I remember it. Like, what the fuck? He started bawling out crying. Like, he, it was like a huge, I, it's hard. And that's another thing. Noel's like, oh, Ralph has perfect recall of this event. I was like, dude, first off, I never even thought about it again until now when, Wait, when you brought it back up. The second off, grade? That's your whole third grade. Yeah, that's my whole third grade class. Jesus Christ, I had like 84 people in my third grade. Yeah, I'm, we had small classes, here, dude. Like, how can this Catholic motherfucker school. That's Catholic remember? school. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I went this to Catholic like, school. And also, uh, that was another thing. I think, <laughs> honestly, I think he's Jewish. I said that earlier, but I don't know that for sure. I was joking around, but I actually do think he is. And then Noel was like, it's a Catholic. Dogs. Yeah, and then Noel's like, it's a Catholic school. Like, that was some own bitch. I'm not fucking Catholic, and I went to Catholic school. Plenty of people go to Catholic school that aren't Catholic. Uh, yeah, the majority are Catholic, but Ralph a lot. Ralph literally told the story yeah. on the stream about a how he times, to participate dude. in like the, yeah. uh, like the, like the more Catholic-y shit. I couldn't be an altar like, boys, but like I could read. you yeah. could do. So that's, I, they wouldn't let me be an altar boy because you have to be a Catholic before they actually will let you be an altar boy. And so I couldn't do that. Uh, and I almost That's converted cool. because it's kind of like you're a little bit of an outsider, Bibble. You know what I mean? It's like most of the class was Catholic, but there's like two or three people who aren't. And I was like, okay. Uh, and they get like, you can't take communion. You can't do all this shit. But they would let me uh, read like passages from the Bible aloud to the congregation, you know, uh, during the thing. And they would have breaks where, you know, I would come up and read and stuff. And other people could come up and read too. Catholics would and, and other non-Catholics uh, like me. But I would always, you know, get the long readings and the big stuff because I would... Uh, that's how I got good reading in public, quite frankly, and why it doesn't bother me now uh, because I learned it there at St. Michael's. I love my time at St. Michael's, actually. Uh, and I don't, I don't even have this picture. That's another thing. Uh, so, I don't know. That's what happened with all that. Uh, and the dude is just a fucking, I don't, I don't know if he's serious or was trying to just like feed this motherfucker some bullshit to like, you know, wind him up. No, you know, feed well, no some bullshit to wind him up posit, or what? But I tell you what, I'm dead fucking theory. serious and I'm not playing around. And I called my friend earlier and put him on the air and he testified to it. And I'll bring in wait, more wait, motherfuckers wait, if I have to. You put Blake on yeah, the I did. <laughs> you didn't see tequila yeah, on the show. I called Blake on the phone and put him on the air. Yeah, and then, okay, and then I was watching live, and they're literally, one of them on Kiwi Farms goes, oh, it's good he's going to put this behind the, the paywall because we'll be able to spin all the clips now, and, uh, you know, he won't, you know, there won't be the full response with everything in context. We would have cut shit out and this and that. And I was like, okay, yeah, you know what? Actually, I'm just going to post the whole thing on Odyssey. Yeah, you're right. I'm just going to leave it here. Uh, and if you go watch the whole Tequila Sunrise, you can see this unfold. So he goes, like, through two or three different accusations. Like I said, first off, he asked me about my dog's dogs and accused me literally of gassing them, which is just I don't, I, bizarre. But, you know, let's be stoic here. So he accused me of that. I go through that, and I said, okay, well, yeah, actually, I will tell you the story, and I'll show you how actually that's what exactly what you're supposed to do uh, to build an incubator for your dogs, but whatever. Uh, so I went through that. Then he went through this and more. And of course I called the guy out. Like, you're not gonna, I don't give a fuck. So that Cecil McFly tranny on Twitter was like, Oh, Ralph docks this guy. What a class act. First off, all these fuckers dox people all the fucking time, like daily. 
And second off, dude, uh, yeah, if you're out there saying bullshit like that about me, you're going to be identified for sure. And you better put your fucking name to that shit. Yeah, that's that's damn sure. I'm, I'm fucking all over that. Because Noel tried to come out with, like, anonymous sources and this and that. I was like, nah, bitch, fuck that. I don't give a fuck. And so, anyway, I won't do that here on Odyssey, though. I have too much respect for the platform. But uh, Telegram, not so much. <laughs> bit of an alternate theory i have here because i don't think this guy just happened to come out of nowhere just messages josh out of nowhere and just tells him this you know regales him of this this story about how you dropped his dogs i think that he that josh got the story and i think he decided to copy the Ian Miles Chong flashbang. Oh, that he added a little to it himself. Yeah, and then he added a little bit. Of, I, I think that's that literally what he did in this case. That he took the details. He that I think this guy. Well, that motherfucker knows I didn't kill his goddamn dog for goddamn sure. And if he fucking says that, he knows for sure that's a lie. And so does everybody else in the whole fucking town. If we have to go through and start, I'll start pulling people up, dude. I still got property in that fucking town. I was just there last month. I'm not fucking around, dude. Uh, and so, yeah, he knows good and goddamn well I didn't kill his fucking dog. And so, yeah, you know what? Hopefully, it was Josh adding a little, a little mustard on the hot dog, so to speak. Uh, because I'm not fucking around, dude. This is, no, this is ridiculous, dude. What the fuck am I, what is my life even worse? What the fuck is this? What is happening right now? Just to call the school and have the school Wait, hold on. surprise your dog's oh, yeah, dead and not even wait for him to get home, Lowell. I'll read that again, but go ahead, Worski. I hopped out of the shower. I'm listening to your show while I'm getting dressed and stuff. <laughs> I start your show and all ears, and then my dad put the dogs in the oven. I'm like, this is a weird Jew joke. <laughs> <laughs> yo, Zyklon Pupper. Yo, dude, dude, I, I just heard your story. It, it all makes sense, obviously. And you saw me up on Twitter today, right? I was like battling a bunch of your people. I'm like, look, I don't give a fuck if Ralph robs a bank. Like, stop adding me. I don't give a shit. But yeah, man, it's crazy, dude. And, it's and, and, and you know what the whole doc case. Okay, so I was uh, how it started on Twitter for me was Ralph docs this guy, right? And then I did, I, by the way, proud to do so, so. Yeah. So so I'm like, so I see what happened, and I'm like. The motherfucker is coming out with it. Like I was watching some of your show in the morning and I watched some, and some people were adding me stuff. And I'm just like, this motherfucker slanders Ralph comes out into the public. Yeah. To Kiwi farms, no less the place where your identity is, is exposed. And he expects you to be, Oh yeah, I'm going to say all this stuff and that's it. Fucking well, you put your idiot. names in that fucking shit, because that is absolutely untrue. And yeah, I'm gonna identify you. Fuck you, faggot. Yeah, that's how I feel about it. Uh, and yeah, here and here's the line I was looking for. It's best to keep a puppy in puppy warm in an incubator. However, if you do not have one, which most people don't have a fucking incubator, uh, you can also use other warm, draft-free spots such as a heating pad wrapped around a soft-sided crate. And so we had like a padded. It's like a big, I don't remember if it was a shoe box or kind of like a big box that was kind of padded in. And my dad had put the heating pad like underneath and around it. And then in the oven with it open, to be clear. Uh, and that was to keep like the draft from, you know, like so they could try to maintain that higher temperature, which is what they lay out in this article uh, in that line that I read earlier. Uh, so, you know. I mean, I understand the easy me. Oh, Ralph, you know, he, they put him in the oven and he gassed the dog. It's like, no, well, actually, no. It was an incubator thing. And, you know, they did pass away. But the other dogs died um, pretty much immediately uh, on birth because, or at birth because they were premature. Like, it wasn't. Well, let me ask you this. I, I did hear bits and pieces of the show earlier. Was there some kind of fisticuffs between you and this gentleman? Oh yeah, he took a cheap shot at me, uh, in in PE. I was trying to think of what we called it, but it was PE. He took a cheap shot at me out of nowhere, 
And then when we got back to the locker room, my homeboys just grabbed him and I worked him over. I was doing that. I was uh, reenacting that on Tequila Sunrise earlier. Uh, but yeah, they grabbed him up like mob boss style, put him up on the wall like this. And I was just sitting there hitting him. You ever see Rocky hit the hit the uh, meat in uh, in Rocky in Rocky Balboa where the ribs Ralph start snapping? The Ralph World yeah. Order to jump yeah. in the locker room. We jumped him. Yeah, we jumped him. Fucking cheap shot, motherfucker. Yeah. I, I the tiger fucking starts playing as Ralph kicks up when the fucking. The I didn't even tell anybody to do that, by the way. They just, <laughs> they just grabbed him up, like, and then I just, we just started stomping him out. And then they're like, "You good?" I was like, "Yeah, that's enough." And then we let him go. 